So hello guys, good day. So let me just give you the short video on Trema Toads. Yeah, because um, natapos daw ni Ma'am Jolly sa lecture. So um, let's include this in your examination, okay? So uh, your platy helmet has two, two subdivisions. So first one are your cestodes or your tapeworm, tapeworms. And second are your Trema Toads or your flukes yeah. and isn't it that we have two we have two classifications two main classifications actually maraming um i would classify it based on its reproductive system and i will classify them based on habitat and so first dito so pagka receive nyo yung pdf file so i'll put the link on the description box so we have your mono issues. So most of your flukes are mono issues flukes. When we say mono issues, they are hermaphroditic. And so sa isang, sa isang parasite, ando na yung male at female. Ayan. So mono issues. So most of your flukes are mono issues. However, yung except yung mga blood flukes natin. So they are... Uh, in separate sexes. Yeah. So there, there is male and female for your blood flukes. So for the for the sake of our discussion, we will only discuss the three common blood flukes. We have Japonicum, Schistosoma, Mansoni, and Hematobium. Yeah. So class, in dioecious, I don't know dioecious, guys. Ginya separate sexes, and they said that this is the most romantic parasite. Yung mga blood flukes daw, because you will always see them in copula. Ibig sabihin, they are reproducing, they are having sex. So, ganyan, ganito makita. Ganito siya, nakikita ba guys? Draw natin yan. So, this is in copula. Yeah, and so the thinner one is your female and the um the stout the stoutier stout the short and stout one is the the male yeah. and so cl class the female is attached inside the gynecophoral canal yeah. so yeah so class what's the differences so the species so it's based so we classified it based on its habitat. So the liver, the small intestines, and the lungs. So, so for the lungs, we have Paragonimus wester money. And so the specimen of choice when we want to to acquire Paragonimus wester money is yours, Butum specimen. Yeah. So class your mono issues are flat and lift like, unlike your dioecious, which are elongated and cylindrical guys do not confuse them with your round worms okay so for reproductive system yun nga mono issues self fertilizing for schistosome separate sexes for mono issues we have it is operculated so it has an operculum or a lid so where your mirasidia will uh, emerge and we have your non operculated for your uh, blood flukes. Yeah. So their key characteristics are their spines. Yeah. So if it's in lateral position, it's in terminal position. At dito, malit lang siya. And for the Japonico, <clears throat> no operculum. For mode of transmission, Transmission class, the for blood flux, it's skin penetration, and the one that penetrates the skin is your cercaria. The characteristic of cercaria, guys, it has a fork tail. Again, in class, so once your cercaria enters enters the skin, so sa mga rivers, sa agusan, sa kagayan, yan, we have to be careful sa mga ponds, yan, so they can penetrate the skin. And the site of penetration where there is itchiness, there is dermatitis, we call it swimmer's itch. So pag may swimmer's itch ka, it's, the, it's due to the cercarial pen, skin penetration. 
Okay, swimmers, itch. Yan. So, kung, ang skistosoma meron sa mga kagagusan, sabi ng Belazare ko, kaya yan. <clears throat> However, for the mono issues, mostly it's ingestion. The infective stage is the meta cercaria. For the intermediate host, so two sa mga mono issues, the first one is always snail. The second one, ayun, pwede mag -iba -iba. For For the schistosome, it's snail. So, one way of controlling glass, <coughs> your blood flux, is controlling the snails. But now, according to WHO, the accepted way to control your schistosomes, your trematodes, are praziquantel mass mass chemotherapy. Ayan. So, mag, so kung sa, since praziquantel has few side effects, it could be disseminated in an area where it is, where, where trematodes are prevalent. And so, praziquantel now. Since it's also cost effective. So, guys, so, one of the key characteristics of your trematodes or flukes are they have suckers. Oral sucker and ventral sucker. Yan. Except heteropies wherein they have three suckers. So, the means, so if you remember, sa cestode guys, anong part, anong part sila, anong part ang nag-a-attach sa host? Isn't it that your colleagues for dermatodes class the suckers at are the are the are the um, organ of attachment for dermatodes so that it would attach to the host. Kasi nga para sa ito, di ba? <clears throat> for the life cycles of your dermatodes, so it started with the ova, and after the ova, a meracidium will will emerge sporosis, radia, cercaria, metacercaria into the adult stage. So, so here we have SHOC, glass kistosoma heterophys of the starkis and clonorchis, SHOC shock. So once they are laid, they are already embryonated. They are already mature and so it could easily it it's it could easily infect the first intermediate host which is the snail immature when laid so kailangan ma-embryonate muna sa tubig glass fasciola paragonimus fasciolopsis and echinostoma <coughs> so yan the first intermediate host are your snail the second intermediate Jet co host are your fish for heterophys, clonorchis, and opistorchis. Yan crab sa paragonimus, plant and vegetation sa mga fasciola and fasciolopsis, and snail echinostoma. Yan so sa echinostoma yan kohol pede. Sa mga vegetation class yung um kangkong Kong Kong, watercress, water chestnuts. Yeah. So, class, the specimen for recovery for trematodes are feces, duodenal drainage, rectal biopsy, sputum, urine. So, class, diagnostic stage is usually eggs. Class, adults are not always recoverable. So, diagnostic stage, OVA, period. Yeah. Serologic test, ELISA, immunoblood. So, for Paragonimus restermani, the adult um, resembles a coffee bean. So, ito yung, andito yung mga common names class, oriental lung fluke. Yan. So, it's the only fluke that, are, that is found in your lungs. It causes endemic hemoptysis. So, pag umubo ka, tapos yung sputum mo may blood, so baka hindi naman TB, baka pala paragonimus western money. Yan. So, the second intermediate host is 
a mountain crab, sabi ni Belisario, crayfish and crab, sabi ni Zybeg. And so class, um, the adults are not always um, readily recoverable. And so the condition is paragon, it causes paragonomiasis and pulmonary dystomiasis. So ano ang ECB ng dystomiasis? Kaya na mag-search guys. So the ova class has um, operculum. So it's immature when laid. Diba? Yun, FPF. Next class. So intestinal flux tayo. So we have Bacillopsis busqui class. It's second like intermediate host are your vegetation. So ingestion, ang mode of transmission niya. According to Zybig, the adults have no shoulders. Yung hindi broad yung, yung ditong area. So no no shoulders for Bacillopsis busqui. Unlike your fasciola, they have a so-called shoulders. Yeah, and so largest flook that para that parasitize men. Yun. So fasciolopsis has the same eggs with your fasciola. So prevention is washing or boiling your water plants. So do not eat them raw. So, yun, mag-ingat sa mga salads, class. Proper human, fecal disposal and sanitation. Controlling the snail population. Avoiding human consumption of raw water plants or contaminated water. But that's what, like what I told you a while ago. Sabi ni WHO, okay na ang prezi. Quantel. So, we have Echinostoma elucanum or garrisons. Fluke. Ayun, kuhol or susong pampang, sabi ni Belisario. The definitive hosts are your domestic animals and prevention of avoiding ingestion of raw or improperly cooked insect. Cook second intermediate host. Snail <laughs> host. Okay. So, class, please observe nyo naman yung mga, ano, yung mga itsura ng trematodes natin. Okay? So, I can stoma, so must ma it's thinner, just like your clonorchis. Your heteropies, so smallest fluke, <coughs> but deadliest. Wala kong picture ng heteropies at all, yan. So good way to discovering this is KTS. So, yun, pag kinilaw daw ang mga kinakain. It lacks, lacks abopercular protuberance, the opposite side of your operculum. Ponce bolds look heterophys, heterophys. So, Metagonimus Yokogawa is indistinguishable to heterophys. The other name of it is heterophid fluke. For the liver flukes, so the adults are usually found in the liver. So dito class, uh, echinostoma, fasciolopsis, heterophys. So small intestine po sila. Small intestine, okay? So fasciola hepatica, temperate liver fluke. So it's found in temperate uh, climate. With your gigantica, it's tropical climate. The two of them causes fasciolosis or sheep liver rot. Yan. So, pareho sila na ang vegetation. So, kangkong and watercress. So, acute stage, it infects the hepatic tissue. For the chronic stage, it could reach the biliary duct. Yan. Pwedeng magbara dun sa biliary duct. We have it here, Clonorchis sinensis. So, pareho manipis. Tapos, napaka-branch. Yan. So, here, pag Clonorchis, sinasabi, old-fashioned electric bulb. Yan. So, please, observe nyo naman yung, ano, yung itsura nitong mga adults natin. Ha? So, observe nyo yung Clonorchis. 
and yung mga pagkakaiba-iba nila, ha, please observe it. So, Clonarchus is Chinese liver fluke, so it's very common in China, in China. It's the most important liver fluke in men. Ayan. Sabi niya, ingestion of fresh water fish and shrimp. Ano ba ang second intermediate host ng Clonarchus? Fish. <clears throat> Opistorchis, Opistorchis, Pelineus, cut liver fluke. So usually it's found among cats. Next, finally, we have blood flukes. So blood flukes class causes schistosomiasis or snail fever or swamp fever or bilharjasis. Yan. So kung local itching lang, we call it swimmers itch. Yan. Adult male with gynecophoral canal, where the female is held. So, lagi silang, yun yung interesting fact sa kanila. It's always in copula. Lagi silang nagme-mate pag nakikita, natatahimingan. <clears throat> yan. So, class praziquantel is the way of controlling your blood flukes. So, class, your blood flukes, they are blood flukes. Because they are found in your portal bloodstream. Yan. So your schistosoma japonicum or oriental blood fluke is found in the superior mesenteric venues of the bowel or rectum. So when we say mesenteric venues class, these are the blood vessels around your small intestine, intestinal tract. So it has a small lateral spine. For Mansoni, mesenteric venules, and or Manson's blood fluke. Paki take note yung mga intermediate hosts and schistosoma hematobium bladder fluke. So the unique thing about this one is the specimen could be 24 hour preserved, unpreserved urine, and so large terminal spine. So, class, what's dangerous about the Spines of this ova, ova is it can cause laceration. So there could be blood in the urine. Yan. So kung yun ay matop, yun tignan yun naman. My large terminal spine. So there could be bleeding in the urine. Talam mo UTI, schistosoma, matop yun pala. What's good is you could see this in your urinary cysts. So usually, class schistosoma hematobium is diagnosed not in the parasitology section but in the clinical microscopy section. Ayan. So yeah, class, that's it. So happy studying. So here I have the life cycle of your schistosoma. So so it all yung adult natin. It's only always found in copula. So upon so once this this um, adult has produced ova, so it will hatch and will release the meracidia. So the meracidia would penetrate our first intermediate host, which are your snails. Tapos it will develop into sporocysts. Tapos magiging cercaria. Tapos yung cercaria yung mag penetrate sa skin. Tapos the cercaria will lose its tail. And would become schistosomulae. And tapos it will go to our portal, portal circulation. Tapos portal blood into the liver and mature into the into adults. And so class, pag yung adult na schistosoma hematobium, it will stay in the plexus of the bladder. And sa bladder siya. Pag itong manson niya at saka, at saka japonicum at saka mekong sa mesenteric venues. So the blood vessels that surround your small intestines or your intestines. So guys, that's it. I'll see you sa exam natin. Bye!